someone wants a beginning with you, but they feel like there's no harmony because of their lustful ways and the fact that there is no clarity. For many of you, you've had to say your goodbyes even though there is no closure. But for many of you, you've had to make it final. You've had to make something final even though something was still unclear to you. But I feel the disharmony and the imbalance of peace and even friendship was enough. I definitely feel with dealing with this energy, there is a lot of conflict. There is a lot of conflict and tension because of them seeking thrills. But I feel there is no apology, no forgiveness when it comes to a masculine energy. This is someone who knows they owe you an apology, yet they have yet to give you one. I also feel there is delays and changes in their life that are keeping them closed off or sidetracked. I feel there is conflict and tension because there is no clarity within an apology, a truth, and they're pretending because they're in some type of false reality or even a fantasy. Something they created to withstand the consequences, the consequences of their karma. Now this energy could be in a sense of despair because things are falling apart. Things are sinking, slowly moving in a very negative direction where they feel there will be no second chance. No second chance or something will be left unspoken. I feel that is leaving them exhausted and even holding some type of resentment with you. I feel there is resentment, confusion, because of an illusion, and even influences, dark attachments to third parties that are keeping them trapped, stuck, tied down, captive in some type of false reality. Something that's keeping them clueless to facts and even a sense of truth, harmony, peace, because there is no clarity. This energy is still being elusive, still not letting go. This energy is not letting go, not releasing pride, still attached to some very harsh ways of thinking, causing something with you to be frozen. I sense something with a feminine energy here has been frozen because there is no loyalty. And for many of you, there is a sense of no death. There's no death, no awareness or importance when it comes to this energy and what you have given unconditionally. Whether that is love, help, or attention, this energy was shallow, pretending there was a misunderstanding when avoiding you. But I feel this is someone who did something intentional, causing there to be a great upheaval, trouble. Hmm. Now there's a sense of solitary because this energy knows there's a great loss, but they're not wanting to be judged. This energy feels like you're rejecting them when it comes to family or a foundation, but they're curious curious to know that you still care or there's still some type of closeness between the two of you but this energy knows there's clashing because there should have only been you this energy didn't setting any kind of boundaries when it comes to the vows the promises causing something to be shattered because they didn't stand on their word in fact this energy just allowed time to pass they allow time to pass without making something clear or right with you. Now there's a sense of disharmony, even deja vu, because this is not the first time someone needed to make a confession when it comes to you. But I feel this is someone who has definitely pushed you to your limit, to push you to your limit when dealing with your heart, you compromising, even turning the other cheek when dealing with their harsh ways or intentions. But I feel you have loved this energy 
unconditionally. You have loved them unconditionally. There is a lot of loyalty here when it comes to you. In fact, I feel you were the connection, the depth, the awareness with the, between the two of you. This is why they are feeling this great loss. A great loss where they could still be stuck in their pride. Stuck in their pride and ego. Still stubborn to love. And I feel this is why they're still sitting in an illusion. Not letting go because it's become too comfortable for them to live in this fantasy. For many of you, this is someone who is coming out as playing the victim. Still being elusive. And still being confused when it comes to why they're angry, bitter, or resentful towards you. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who is just lost in their own space of deep denial. Deep denial when it comes to the truth, so much so that they are still not acknowledging what's compelling them to be disrespectful, deceptive, disloyal towards you. So they go out of their way to block out the criticism and humiliation of being a con artist, fraud, or hollow being. This is someone who pretends not to be fake and phony, but it comes out in so many ways. In fact, their entire personality or false persona, persona is built on it. Built on their fragile sense of self. And they're hiding it behind the solution. This is narcissist energy here. Narcissist energy here who is sitting in some type of illusion when it comes to a separation, a divorce, a commitment they should have been loyal to. But I feel for many of you, this is someone who broke free broke free not realizing it was their last chance there's a lot of arguments arguments related to this separation with you and even karma arguments and karma when dealing with a narcissist energy they could also be dealing with that same energy as well please take it higher resonance but this energy is dealing with a lot of karma and consequences because of their ego their ego and arrogance when dealing with a divorce, a separation, or a commitment they should have been true to. This energy distorted some things. This energy was never really rational when dealing with the truth, how they should really be dealing with you. So they twist facts to avoid anything that would chip away at their armor. Hmm. But I feel the memories, the facts, they're starting to get to them. But I feel these memories are often filled with fantasy, deceptive energy, and faulty truths. Someone is sitting in their pride not wanting to accept something, and I feel like they're doing that on purpose. In fact, this is the reason they're going through so many sidetracks, delays, and changes. Because of what they're choosing not to see or acknowledge and they could be lo losing sleep over it someone is losing sleep and going through a sense of debt because of their secrets and their lies which are all leading to a sense of depression a sense of depression and shame Reckless ways when it comes to sex and karmic ties because this energy is always making bad decisions and pretending not to be a snake. This is someone who is pretending, sitting in a space of shame. This energy could also be pretending not to be ashamed, but they know they're not happy. Wow. This is someone who knows they're not happy. But they're still being foolish. This energy is still being foolish when backstabbing you or being shady towards you. Thinking you have no evidence. But this energy is going through spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare for what they shattered because there is no compromise. This energy just wants it their way. 
but I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space of delusion. This is someone who is sitting in a space of delusion when it comes to their bad habits or their toxic ways, but I feel this is also going to bring them to a space where they feel they can't take it anymore. Hmm. They're trying to not give in, but it's only delaying what's to come their way. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is hard to convince that their reality isn't true because they rely on it so heavily. But I feel they have already disowned their unacceptable feelings or even their qualities and thoughts and assign them to others, either mentally or verbally, because it's never them. It's never them, it's never their fault. And this is their narcissist energy coming through. Not wanting to give in to what they know is true about self. And for others, this energy is upset with you because of you show them things about themselves that they're not wanting to acknowledge or even claim. You put them in a space where they have to grow and that's something they don't want or like. They don't want to change. This is someone who is happy being who they are. Exactly the way that they are. But I feel this energy of being a player is only going to bring them more pain. I feel like this player energy has torn a home apart. Their secrets, their lies, pretending to have no time. This energy is now sitting in a space where they feel alone. This energy feels like there is a wedge between the two of you because of their materialistic ways or the fact that they were always playing games. But I feel their games only brought in karma when it comes to stability, life, you. Someone's resenting you because the connection is fading or lost, flatlining. This wedge between the two of you was forced. But this energy is not wanting to admit the fact that they are the ones who created these changes or made this mess. In fact, they're running because they don't want to talk about it. They don't want you to bring some things up when it comes to the chances they took. And they also don't want you to see the harsh consequences of this karma. Because even though you're not able to see the effects of it, trust me, they're drowning in it. This is someone who doesn't want to admit something when it comes to you. They're bored, they're frustrated, not wanting to chase or even be rejected. This energy is wanting you to read between the lines. This energy wants you to read between the lines when it comes to a text message, something they're repeating. But I see that you're not wanting to. Someone needs to speak a truth and do it without hesitation. No more games, no more false energy. Someone needs to speak a truth. But I feel instead of speaking a truth, someone is trying to catfish you, pretending they are ready for love or wanting to start over. But this is someone who just needs to recharge, but you're not letting something go. You're not letting something go and they're not liking it. In fact, they're pissed off about it. This is someone who is upset at the fact that you're not letting something go and not letting them get away with something. They're yearning for you. They're wanting your attention, but they're not getting it. In fact, this energy feels like you're ignoring them. This energy feels like you're ignoring them because of the trust issues and rightfully so. Because this energy has played too many games with you. I feel like this is someone who is unconsciously feeling lost or left out. This is why the anger is bubbling over or coming up. And I also feel like they're feeling like they're not enough or they know it. 
so they ignore reality. They ignore the truth of what they know is real to attempt to preserve their ego, their thoughts. But I feel this trust is starting to get the best of them. Someone knows that you'll never see them the way that you once did. You see them as someone who is lost, someone you may even pray for, but not someone you're wanting to give in to, not the way that you used to. I feel there's a sense of caution. There's a sense of caution here when it comes to your energy towards that. Mm, wow. But I feel they're still resenting you, even though they know you've done nothing wrong. I feel like they're just resenting you because they need you. They need your validation and so many other things that they've started to see that you've given silently, unapologetically. I feel you've given to this energy and expected nothing for it. Now this energy resents you for being stronger. <laughs> This energy resents you for being enough. Now this energy is upset. The door is closed where the door or the energy used to be accepted or received. Now they're upset. Upset because you let go. You let go and you're unbothered. Someone feels like you're re relocating. Or have some type of secret connection. This could be something that they're really worried about. This relocating and this secret connection. Because they want to impress you. But this energy is coming out emotionally immature. This energy is coming out emotionally immature. And trying to impress your energy. Trying to gain in some type of way. But they feel like you're too happy or better off in the energy that you're in, but I feel something could be happening very soon. Because this obsession and their sense of boredom is getting the best of them. This is someone who has a lot of pride when dealing with you. And they also don't want to be rejected. But I am also getting the sense that they have nothing to lose. Especially when they have nothing to hate about you. I definitely feel this is someone who is losing sleep because of all of the dead ends that they're starting to come across. But I feel this energy has made their bed and they're just upset. They have to lay in it. Holy Spirit, what is the message is here? Message is here for the collective energy. As I said before, this is someone who definitely wants to recharge with you. They feel like this is unfinished business. But this energy doesn't feel you're going to receive them the same or even want to hear what they have to say. As I said before, you're no longer wanting to read between the lines, but someone is wanting you to see something. Someone is wanting you to see something that you're not seeing. And if you're seeing it, it's because you don't want to give in to some false narrative that they're trying to spin. For many of you, this energy craves variety. <laughs> this energy craves variety and is easily bored or weakened by temptation. Hmm. I feel like they're so easily distracted that they feel they're being stripped stripped of some type of opportunity with you because you have let go or tried to tie them down. This energy feels like you tried to tie them down by helping them be stable, letting go of these irrational ways, but this energy is so stuck to these toxic lifestyles that they are holding resentment towards you for helping, helping them change. Hmm. Wow. For some of you, someone is holding resentment.
because they don't like the fact that they rely on you. Someone feels like you're taking them out of their comfort zone. Someone doesn't want to rely on you for their peace, their happiness, their comfort in life, and it scares them. And for some of you, it's triggering. It's triggering for them as they want to believe you're there for them. But I feel there is also a side of them that doesn't want to give in to it. I feel this is someone who just wants to believe you stood between them and their true happiness. When in fact, you could have given this energy the world and they still would have been dissatisfied. Always feeling there could have been more. When in fact, this energy was too prideful to understand or realize the blessing they had with you. But as I say in so many of my readings, this energy just had to learn the hard way. Someone had to learn the hard way when it comes to letting go and giving in to love. Because now, this energy realizes this closed, closed door with you just might be final. Someone is knowing you're a gift. This is something that they are not struggling with. This is why they want to recharge with you. But I feel this energy is still trying to figure something out. Someone is still trying to figure something out when it comes to love. And how not to be a fraud with it. For many of you, they're still trying to strategize. Still trying to strategize a way to have some sympathy. Hmm. Someone is trying to strategize a way of getting an apology out of you or getting you to let your guard down. Someone knows you're very generous and they could be having money issues. Someone is wondering why me when it comes to karma. This energy has a lot to deal with. A lot to deal with when it comes to being an adult, being a parental figure, or dealing with some countless suitors that are not worth their time or energy. I feel these countless suitors are draining them. Hmm. But I feel this energy thinks they have a choice. They feel they have a choice to stay in this illusion of confusion, but I feel they don't. They either give in to love or walk away from it because you are not friends with benefits. Yet this energy is still watching you. Someone is still watching you because they know it's worth the wait. But I feel this energy will bring no peace, no good news. You're still dealing with a runner. And even though they know that you are special, even though this energy knows that you are special, it will still bring you heartbreak, confusion, and for many of you, misery. Someone is getting a new car. Someone is wanting to be a part of your come up, your luxury, pampering energy here, but this energy is still attached to some addictions. This energy will only be a bad time, bad energy. Someone wants you to feel safe with them. Someone wants you to feel safe in their energy, but I feel it will only be a misunderstanding to give in to them. They want to talk things out, but for many of you, there's not a lot to talk about, especially since they're showing off and repeating cycles. You're about to be in a different energy where you could be on top of the world and theirs is falling apart. Someone is definitely sitting in a false reality because they know their life is falling apart. They're being drained on many ends here and it's only because they're not stepping up or seeing a truth. Someone's not being proactive. And this is why they're sitting in the energy of why me? But it's because they're not stepping up. This energy is not letting go of pride or false realities and is keeping them stuck and tied, bound to
to something that's keeping them stuck. Stuck and in need of truth. A brutal truth. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more energy here from a different deck. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's stick some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what is the message for all the collective energies? Someone knows you are high value energy, but you may see this energy slipping around or reaching out as a spiritual attack because you're just tired. You're sick of the guilt tripping. You're tired of someone guilting you or playing these games of remorse. When they only want the spotlight. Someone wants attention. And you know it. Even if it's your attention. Someone knows that you are high value energy. And you could be wondering why you. And it's because you are worth a lot. Your energy here is very magnetic. Someone is drawn to you. Someone knows that you can bring change. Someone knows you have a lot of wisdom. And that is worth more than you'll ever know. But I feel this energy has too many secrets. Too many lies to play the game. For many of you, you're just tired. You're over it. You're tired of the cycle. Sick of being generous to someone who is always baiting you into chaos. And baiting you into shame. Hmm. This is someone who is driven by false realities. Hmm. Who is now getting a heavy dose of karma. If this energy is not sitting in their own consequences, this energy is now facing their own demons when it comes to their sneaky ways or leaving something to mystery because whatever is being hidden is being brought to light. There's a lot of guilt on their part and they know that you are tired. You're sick of the division, the bad decisions, but this energy is still impulsive and sitting in their ego. But I sense this mindset has created a great deal of anger towards you because they're uncomfortable with you being the primary source of their peace or their happiness because you also have the power to take it away. So they've played a dangerous game. This energy has played a dangerous game. Being stubborn. Childish. But I feel this energy is being guided to make some type of change. This energy is being guided to make a change before they hit rock bottom. But this energy is still stuck in a double life. Not wanting to make these changes because they're too stubborn to do so. This is someone who's still sitting in a space of being childish or immature, wanting what they feel they are destined to have, but I feel it will only bring them karma. Because this energy is life. It's falling apart. It's falling apart because of their deception, their lies, and living this false reality of a double life because they're trying to preserve their ego or their immature ways. But playing a victim is going to bring them to a harsh reality that they never re expected. <clears throat> I feel this is someone who's about to see something for what it is. Someone is definitely thinking about your energy. They miss what you once had. They want to reconcile, but this energy is still fighting with you. This energy is still being one-sided, detached, playing mind games. Wow. I feel like this energy is still testing you. I feel like this energy is still testing you with these fights. Even though they are thinking of you and they are hitting rock bottom, this energy is wondering if you still are attached. 
I feel this energy is hiding to see if you'll still fight for them. This is a part of the mind games of testing you. But I feel this energy telling these lies of playing these games will make something final because they will only get caught red-handed. I feel for many of you this is a power struggle. A push and pull. This is what you're tired of. You're tired of the, the fighting, the push and pull, the avoiding controversy. Or the fact that they have gotten caught. But someone just doesn't want to admit they have an egg on their face. Someone doesn't want to admit things backfired and they got caught. Someone knows that you see the red flags in a toxic situation or the fact that they are sitting in addiction while bad crowd. Someone knows that you can see something for what it is and you, you try to deduce. You have to let go of something because you're fed up. You have to cut ties. You have to walk away from the drama. Now this energy could be giving you the cold shoulder because of the breakup, the separation. Because they don't like the distance. However, I feel you have to create some type of boundary for someone who has none. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who played a very dangerous game to prove a point they still have yet to prove. For many of you, this energy wanted to prove you didn't care. But in fact, it only proved they didn't. Because I feel this energy may have destroyed the one thing that was real, authentic in their life. Because They've gotten too used to being fake or being with the fake. Now, something could be final. Something could be final and this energy could be on the road to self-destruct. Because there's too many lies, too much controversy, controversy and not enough attention. Even though they're playing all of these mind games, hoping to get the kind of approval that they seek, this energy is coming up with nothing. Nothing but shame and a true ego death. Because this reality that they've been avoiding is now becoming real. Real quick. Let's get some final energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the final messages here for the collective energies? What are the final energies? Final messages here. Someone knows that their sneaky ways are starting to be revealed. Someone is possibly watching you like a hawk, but whatever they're trying to do is just not adding up. For many of you, this energy has tunnel vision. Hmm. This energy has tunnel vision, even though whatever they're doing is still not getting them any results. Hmm. Yeah, this energy is still sitting in cloudy judgment, mental fog, thinking they can charm their way out of this situation without giving you the apology or energy that you deserve here. So they're still sitting in this snake energy of deception and lies. This is someone with limited vision, thinking they can climb out of this situation with their false sense of being, but they're going nowhere. It's just fairy tales. Fairy tales that they are trying to believe even though they know they're hitting by bottom and nothing is changing. I sense nothing is changing for someone who believes that they can do what they want when they want. But nothing is adding up. This energy is having money problems and they're trying to survive. And this energy could be headed your way because of it. Hmm. But this energy might be walking into a rude awakening when it comes to your energy. As I said before, you've had enough. You're tired. You're tired of their deception and their lies and they're not coming with real energy here. This real energy needs to be <sighs> speaking louder than the deceptions and the lies that they tell, but this energy is still taking risks that will only lead to a harsh ending. 
someone wants relief. This energy wants relief when dealing with what's going on in their mental. I feel this is why they're trying to make things right with you instead of apologizing. Someone's wanting to put the past behind you, but they're not wanting to reflect on it. This is someone who is having a lot of trauma when it comes to the past. And even when it comes to influences, early influences, because... Early influences cause these reckless ways, impulsive ways. Even the fact that they are stuck in this state of immaturity. It makes them feel like they're in power. Some type of invincible energy. Who is still not seeing the truth or the reason for tradition or commitment. This is why there is a lack of loyalty and even respect when dealing with someone who is still sitting in a space of confusion when it comes to affairs of the heart because they're still hiding things behind the curtain, behind the scenes, things they need to repair or fix, but the paint is starting to chip. The imperfections, the flaws, the layers of, of deceit they're starting to show. I feel all of the baggage is starting to be revealed when dealing with someone who is incognito, not wanting you to see a truth that you already see. This is someone who's trying to clean it up by creating strategy, a maze, a maze they feel you can't figure your way out of. This energy feels they are good at masterminding things because of their strength and ego and pride. But I feel this strength and ego and pride has only gotten them lost because they have not been true to self. Hmm. Or gave a token of love. True loyalty, true respect. And for many of you, this energy could be going through a dark time here. Closed off sitting in a space of regret, guilt, because they did something that was forbidden. But I feel they're still sitting in a space of bad habits. This energy is still sitting in a space of bad habits, being codependent, and things are unraveling. Things are unraveling as this energy is still stringing things along. But I feel they're going to realize very soon. Things are closed off. There's a locked door when it comes to this energy because things are about to erupt in their life. Where their armor, their guard, won't help. Someone is trying to be stoic. Very defensive. And has a lot of armor as I said before. This is someone who is trying to stay in this space of false persona. Trying to adapt to what's going on, but I feel whatever's going on or about to take place, they won't be able to adapt to. They won't be able to adapt to this karma. In fact, it will be an experience of their life. They won't forget because it's faded. It's faded and it's final. It's final for someone who's been acting like an ass. Someone who has put you in competition. A competition that you didn't even sign up for. But now this energy will be filled with emotion. Because now they're stuck in a space of feeling abandoned or neglected. For many of you, this energy is still holding on to this tough exterior. Moving slowly, thinking they can butter you up, but I feel they're going to come to a harsh reality if they ever try to come your way. As I said before, the paint is starting to chip, and whatever they're trying to hold back, they won't be able to. Because things are about to get heavy real quick for someone who has been holding back for a very, very long time. This is someone who pretends to have a conscience, morals, or feelings, yet 
possesses none of the qualities. In fact, this energy is making no sense at all. Thinking they're leveling up and they're doing nothing because after all the compromising loyalty and love that you gave, they still hurt you. This energy hurt you in the worst way through toxic situations, backhanded compliments, lies, betrayals, deceit, and disrespect. Where you're expected to be mute to their lies and blind to their disrespect just so they can feel comfortable or accept it. Yet, I sense they got too comfortable not realizing you being around under harsh, abusive circumstances just ain't it. Because although your love is unconditional, your time is not. As I see many of you having no problem loving the memory of them if they can't seem to get it right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and